This is a question from uh, AQA Physics paper, uh, paper 1, June 2012. And it's a nice little question just about lamps in series and parallel. So it's a good question for just checking you understand how current, voltage and power uh, behave in a fairly straightforward circuit. OK, so let's have a look at the question. So first of all, we've got a battery. It says negligible internal resistance. You will get some questions in the paper where you have to take into account internal resistance but here we don't need to worry about it. And it's connected to two lamps, lamp P and lamp Q, and they're uh, in parallel with each other. So the EMF of the battery is 12 volts. So the first thing you should think about, before we even look at the question, you should realize that if it's a 12 volt battery there, and we've got two components in parallel, then we've got 12 volts across each component. They're in parallel, so they're gonna have the same voltage as the power supply. Now in the question, it says lamp P is rated at 12 volts, 36 watts. Lamp Q is 12 volts, 6 watts. So what's the difference between them then? Well, before we even look at the question, you should realise that if they've both got 12 watts, volts across them, which they have, both got 12 volts across them, but different power, that's because they draw different amounts of current. And the reason they'll draw different, amount, uh, different amounts of current is because they have different resistances. So these two lamps here, lamp P, lamp Q, they have different resistances. That's why at the same voltage they draw different amounts of current and will uh, produce different amounts of power. So let's have a look at the question. The first bit says calculate the current in the battery. So calculate the current in the battery, we'll need to know either the total resistance or the power. Now we're given power, so I think it's probably easiest if we look at the relationship between power voltage and current if we're going to answer this question. So that's our basic relationship between power, voltage and current and there are lots of ways you could do this. Um, like a lot of these electricity questions we could look at each lamp individually. We know the power, we know the voltage, we could work out the current through each uh, lamp, add them up and that would be the current through the battery because you should realise that the current splits, some goes down there, some goes down there uh, and if we add up both branches we'll get the total current. Or we could just simply add the power of both bulbs, because that's the total power uh, produced by the bulbs added together, uh, and work it out that way. I think I'll probably do both just to show you you get the same answer. So if we take lamp uh, P to start with, lamp P has got a power of 36 watts, voltage of 12 volts. So if we rearrange that, that's our standard uh, equation from the data sheet, power equals voltage times current, rearrange it. Current equals power divided by voltage, 36 divided by 12, and that means lamp P, when it's working normally, takes a current of 3 amps. And then for lamp Q, we've got lamp Q, 6 watts, 12 volts, so the current is power divided by voltage again, 6 divided by 12, half an amp. So if we combine those two currents, because we know that the current splits as it goes around the circuit, we'd have 3.5 amps. Or alternatively, I did say that if we added the power, 6 plus 36, that's 42 watts. 42 watts for both bulbs combined. So we can do 42 divided by 12. They're both 12 volt bulbs. And that will also give us 3.5 amps. So whichever way you do it, uh, and there are other ways as well, you'll get an answer of 3.5 amps. And the next question asks us just to calculate the resistance of P. Well, we know quite a lot about lamp P. So again, there's lots of ways we could do it. We know that it's 12 volts, so we know the voltage. We know the power, 36 watts. Uh, we also know the current. So there are various uh, formula you could use to do that. Uh, because I worked out the current earlier, 3 amps, I'm just going to use V equals IR. Rearrange it, R equals V divided by I. We know that the voltage is 12, we know that the current is 3, and that gives us a resistance of 4 ohms. So the answer there, the resistance of P, 4 ohms, one fairly straightforward mark. The next part, very similar, calculate the resistance of Q, so that's our other lamp, and from the previous page we had the voltage across Q was 12 volts, just the same as it was for P, but this time the current through Q was just half an amp, so 12 divided by 0 0.5 gives us an answer of 24 ohms. Okay, on to question B. And it says, state and explain the effect on the brightness of the lamps in the circuit shown if the battery has a significant internal resistance. Well, in the first part of the question, 
it said there was no internal resistance. Now, what internal resistance the internal resistance does, of course, is to essentially use up some of the voltage. Some of the voltage is dropped across that internal resistance, meaning the voltage for the external part of the circuit is less. So basically, the voltage dropped across the internal resistance uh, means that the voltage across the lamps is reduced. If there's less voltage across the lamps, um, obviously their resistance is fixed. That means the current through them is going to be reduced uh, or to put it another way, the power produced by the lamps is reduced. Either way, the end result is the bulbs are dimmer. You could also talk about the fact that the internal resistance means that the total resistance of the circuit is actually going to increase. Um, and if you've got the uh, resistance increasing, then the total current is going to go down. So if the current goes down, uh, again, the bulbs are going to be dimmer. Either argument is fine, uh, as long as you make three good points uh, or two good points that go with the statement that the bulbs are dimmer, that's your state bit. So a couple of explanation points should be enough to get you your marks. OK, for part C, we've, we've been asked to comment on um, the lamps, which are now in series. So they behave differently in series to parallel, obviously. Uh, this time the voltage is shared between the lamps. And it says, explain why the lamps will not be at their normal brightness in this circuit. And it's worth two marks. Well, there are lots of ways you could go about explaining this. Uh, firstly, you could talk about the fact that there's not 12 volts across each lamp. Um, if there's not 12 volts across each lamp, then they're not going to have the required current through them. So they're not going to be as at their normal brightness. Uh, you could back up your argument with some calculations, and I think that's what we're going to do. We saw in the last part that the resistance of uh, lamp P was 24 ohms, and the resistance of lamp uh, Q was 4 ohms. Or it might have been the other way around, actually, but either way. Uh, you add up their total resistance, and it's 28 ohms. Now we've got 12 volts being used to uh, essentially push current or supply current through that circuit with a total resistance of 28 ohms. So we can work out the current through it. So we now know the total resistance of the circuit. We know the voltage supplied to the circuit. So the current, now voltage divided by resistance is only 0.43 amps. So if you remember, um, lamp P needed 3 amps and lamp Q needed half an amp. So that current that passes through both of those lamps, because they're in series, is not going to be enough to uh, produce, an, uh, produce the normal brightness in that circuit. So um, two marks, illustrate it with some numbers if you can, but you would get the two marks if you just talked about the fact that the voltage is shared between the lamps, um, the current is less than required to produce that power output and therefore that brightness. OK, the last part of the question then, state and explain which of the lamps will be brighter, assuming that the resistance of the lamps does not change significantly with temperature. Well, we worked out their resistances earlier. Uh, lamp Q was 24, lamp P was 4. Now, because they're in series, they're going to have exactly the same current passing through them. Now, you should remember that power is equal to I squared R. Don't worry about that notation. That just means I squared because I can't do a little superscript on here. Uh, but power is I squared R. So that means the brightness of the bulb, which is essentially the power output, okay, depends on I and R. Well, I is the same because they're in series. So it's the bulb that has the greatest resistance that will be the brightest. Uh, and it's Q that has the greatest resistance. Uh, so Q has the greatest power output as current is equal in both lamps, so Q is the brightest. So 12 mark question there, quite a lot to it, but if you just keep your circuit rules uh, in your head, lamps in series and parallel, not too tricky.